you have the unbeaten Rajat Bhutaya taking on Jamal James. Bhutaya, 13 and 0. Two of his victories have come by knockout. And uh, Rajat, listen, you're facing a man who's certainly going to have the height advantage over you um, and has not suffered a defeat, if my math is correct, in five years. You tell us why you believe you're the man that can dethrone Jamal James this Saturday. Rajat, you're with a guy who took you and who won a lot of times and now is a champion. Скажи, почему ты считаешь, что ты сможешь победить в субботу и забрать этот титул? У меня большой опыт, у меня большой любительский опыт. Я провел кучу боев и с высокими, и с низкими, с разными бойцами. Я верю в свои силы, я верю в свою команду. Я уверен, что я готов к большим боям и в субботу я об этом докажу. Um, I've had a lot of experience in amateurs, I've had a lot of experience in the pros, I believe in myself, I believe in my experience that I've had, I believe in my team, uh, we've had a very good camp, everything went as planned, and uh, on Saturday I plan to prove uh, that I'm the, the, the champion in this division. Uh, Rajat, let me ask you this, he's got the height advantage, reach advantage, what do you believe will be the difference in this fight? Учитывая, что у него длиннее руки и выше рост, в чем ты думаешь будет твое преимущество, в чем будет разница? У любого бойца может быть удар сильнее меня руки, длиннее меня, скорость выше, больше моей, но в воле победы я уверен, что нет ни одного бойца, как у меня. I believe that now, you know, everything that I've been through and, and where we are today, um, every fighter has an advantage, you know, somebody Somebody's quicker, somebody's has more experience, somebody's taller. But I think the, the, at this point the most important is the will to victory. And I believe in, in my will to victory at this point, and I, I think it's at the highest level, and I believe nothing can stop me now. Jamal has come to you now. Again, 27 and 1. 12 of his victories have come by knockout. Uh, Rajab gave an interview to the boxing scene. And one of the things he talked about was his power and aggression being the key in this fight. Um, in your opinion, what will be the difference in this fight tomorrow? Uh, first, I would like to say good afternoon, everybody. Hey. Thank you all for coming. Wanted to cut the tension real quick. <laughs> um, you said what will be the difference in this fight? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we top level. You know, everybody up here at the stage is top level fighters. We're gonna come and give our very best. Uh, I mean, when you say the difference, you mean the difference for me to win? Absolutely. Um, the difference that I need to win this fight is to make sure I hit him more than he hits me. <laughs> so that's my main focus. And if possible, I'll try not to get hit at all. But you know, it is boxing, so we'll see. He's talked a lot about his power and believing that his power will be too much for you. What's your response to that? Uh, if you can hit me. I mean, you know, at this level, everybody hits hard. You know what I mean? I'm not fight, you know, we're not fighting cupcakes no more at this level. Every opponent you get in the ring with, with the made ounce gloves on, if they catch you, it's gonna hurt. So, you know, make sure you keep your hands up, chin down and try your best not to get hit. I mean, um, I've been in there with guys who hit extremely hard and have beat them, you know, so it ain't nothing new to me. I think this fight is interesting, Jamal, for the simple fact the welterweight division, you know, we like to call it the glamour division because you have big names at the top of the division and it's a deep division filled with talent. But there seems to be a hierarchy. There seems to be a, a, a hierarchy of they call the elites, where you have the Errol Spence, the Sean Porters, the Terrence Crawfords, the Danny Garcias, names like that. And then they say there's another level. And they may mention a Jamal James and, and, and other fighters, uh, Butaya. 
This opportunity Saturday seems to be an opportunity for Jamal James to say, listen, I'm at the elite. How do you see this? Uh, exactly how you said it, you know what I mean? We're here in Vegas, headlining on Showtime. Uh, you know, it is time for me to let people know that I've been at this level and should be able to get the opportunities that those guys have been given and have gotten, you know what I mean? And that's not to take nothing away from them guys, but like you just said, man, we're the welterweight division is stacked, you know what I mean? We got a, a, a bunch of great talent, and it's time for some new guys to get their name up there and be able to make these, you know, bigger money fights, bigger name fights. And we'll wrap it up with this. We're trying to crown one champion for the WBA. And there's another guy by your Dennis Ugas. Yeah, let's who, run it back. Who's already said, yeah, I'm the champion. The, the, don't even mention Jamal James, I'm the guy. So I guess what's your message to your Dennis Ugas, especially for this fight? Well, first, I'm not gonna overlook my opponent over here, first and foremost, so I gotta get past this fight first. But, um, God willing, I am victorious in this fight. Then my message is that we need to run that back. You know what I mean? He had a great win over Pacquiao. He's a, he's a great fighter. Uh, when I competed against him, I didn't have a full camp. You know, it was a very short notice fight. Uh, I don't like to talk about that much because I don't like to sound like I'm making excuses. He was a better man that, that night, obviously. But I think when we both have full camps, that it could definitely be a different story but you know let me let me get past my guy over here first absolutely absolutely um and you got to ask you this because you know some have written about it they've said hey look jamal james victorious on saturday if jerron ennis is victorious on saturday why not those two getting it on what did jamal james say about that hey compliments to jerron ennis man he's been making a great name for himself and i'm not and, and, and I'm definitely down to give this brother uh, an opportunity. Um, my thing is, like you stated before, they have still yet to put me at the top. And right now we got two champions at the WBA welterweight division, which kind of don't make sense to me. So my focus is to get past this fight here, and then I would like to fight Uga so we can eliminate these two. You know what I mean? There should be one WBA welterweight champion. And then, you know, when you, I am that one welterweight WBA champion, and cast are making names like NS over here or some other guys, uh, I'm, not, I'm not ducking nobody. You know, I'd be down to give these cats an opportunity. I uh, obviously talked to my management, Al Heyman. He's been making great opportunities for me. He's been paving the way for me as well as a lot of other guys. Um, so whatever they say, I'm pretty much, pretty much going to roll with but I, I definitely see that uh, in the future. Fantastic. I know there are a number of people here in the media have some questions, so I'm going to give you guys the opportunity.